Hi, I'm gonna make some pastry in my country. Any pastry in this category we call shirnitar means it had some sort of the cream in it. It's not dry. Uh, for this particular one, I have a puff pastry sheets. I have a milk. I have a pudding. That's the instant pudding. It make it very quick. This is the French vanilla pudding, instant pudding. And I use some fruit. Right in here, I have some strawberries and blueberry. You can use peach. You could use banana. Uh, you could use mixed berry. Whatever you like, you could do that. I put a little flour on my surface. One of my puff pastry sheets. Now I'm gonna cut this to four pieces. That is sound of my oven. I turn on the oven on the 392 degree of Fahrenheit or 200 degree of centigrade. I have those a small tart pens and I'm gonna put my puff pastry in it and then I'm gonna bring everything to the edge and I use the rolling pan to cut off the excess stuff Okay, I'll put my puff pastry here and I try to fix it in inside my pan. Try to make, don't make a hole. A tart pan over the towel because I don't want to move and I go with my roller make it easier to separate the dough okay my oven is on it's on 392 Fahrenheit or you could do it round it up into the 400 I'm grab the fork and I make a hole otherwise it would raise I don't want them to race. Okay, I brought my puff pastry off of the oven. It was there for 15 minutes. I'm gonna leave this to cold. Follow the box direction, which is says for five minutes putting direction. Uh, you need to have two cup of the cold milk, one package of the pudding. Okay, this is the two cup of the whole milk. It's organic and lactose free. And a package of instant French vanilla pudding. And we're gonna mix it. Okay, this is my pudding, it's ready. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. Look the thickness of it. See that? You're gonna go in the refrigerator so my puff pastry is ready off the oven and a cool down my pudding is ready and I sliced my strawberries and I have a few blueberries 
uh, you could use any fruit you want and now you could decorate it however you like I'm gonna start by putting vanilla down gonna straight it up and now I'm gonna decorate it with my strawberries blueberry in it banana would be very nice with this vanilla pudding this is my slices of strawberries Isn't that beautiful? What would be very nice is if you have a whipping cream to put on top of it. On this one, I like to make it plain. I'm gonna put this on top of this one. I just remove this top layer of this one so you make a little hole so I would be able to fit in my pudding I'm gonna just cover it with that top layer of crumble puff pastry I have another piece in the oven which was the extra pieces from my previous dish uh, and I put that to get golden brown and I'm gonna crumble it on top of it with some powdered sugar okay I made two of them with the fruit and I made one like a two layer without any fruit but it's two layer of puff pastry and two layer of vanilla pudding that leftover um, puff pastry I had from previous time and I put them in the oven and I toasted uh, I'm gonna crumble that and I'm gonna add it I'm gonna add it over my vanilla custard it look like a gigantic Napoleonian <laughs> that's how I like it I toast some sliced pistachio and I'm gonna put them over this fruity one just garnish it you make it very delicious looking if you have an allergy to the nuts please don't use it plain one you could put powdered sugar in any but I'm gonna put it over only the plain one okay I'm gonna do a little bit more of crumble toasted puff pastry this is a puff pastry I toast it in the oven to become golden and crunchy then 
we're going to do nice size of pistachio. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Okay, my pastry is ready. Let's see it close by. What do you think about this? I think it's beautiful and very delicious. If you leave it in refrigerator for a few hours or until next day, I would think the plain one going to be better. Um, the one with the uh, strawberries or any fresh fruit, if you want to keep it in refrigerator for uh, 24 hours or more, uh, before you garnish it with pistachio, you should brush the strawberries with some marmalade like a uh, apricot marmalade or peach marmalade so it protect the uh, uh, strawberries like a preservative and it keep its look and shine well my husband really liked the one with the strawberries but I personally like this gigantic Napoleonian look and I'm gonna serve it with a cup of coffee Thank you very much for watching and let me know what you think.